Chapter 12, Reversal! been people asking for you. Syndicate people. Eyes. Oh. Yeah, long story. Look, I'm not gonna pry or anything, but they seemed pretty serious. Is everything okay? Yes, sort of. Nothing to worry about, Karen. Thanks. Okay. Can I get you a latte on the house? Rain check. I'm just not in the mood for coffee right now. You got it. Rain check. The fuck is this shitty music? The Abathas live there. Nice family. Their cooking always smells so good. Dad? Ring a ding dong. Ring a ding 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 dong. Get the heads ring a ring a ding dong. Home. Casablanca. Ring a ding 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 dong. Around. Sorry, uh, I didn't think you'd be so worried. Worried? Well, that's an understatement. You don't have to lie anymore. I know you haven't been home. Oh, busted. What do you mean? Of course I've been. After our last conversation, I logged into the house and spoke with Wonkers. He told me you haven't been home for a busted! Week, a week. Dad. What I don't get is why you had to lie to me. She's Dad, it's a slut. long story. I had to go away for a little while. So where have you been? I'm not doing this over the phone. I'm home again now. Ask Wonkers if you want to. Hell, check the cameras if you don't believe me. I don't know what to believe. Was it Reza? Yes. No. I had to help him. But that wasn't the only thing that... I don't think we should talk about this over the phone. When are you coming back? I'm still stuck out here. Another couple of days at the very least. Look, I'm sorry for lying to you, but I have my reasons. I didn't want you to worry. Well, that backfired. I know, but you don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm back and I'm staying put. I'll tell you everything when you get home, okay? Okay. I'll try to speed things up at my end, but it... No. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just come home when you can. Take care, Zoe. I'll call you tomorrow. And try to stay out of trouble. Yeah. Bye, Dad. But nothing hurts. Don't give me that hooker fucking shaking head in your bitch. Right. That bed looks comfy, and that bed looks extra comfy with Zoe on it. She's not sticking in her booper. Good to 
see you again. Are you crying? Hey. No. No. I'm just... Yeah. I'm crying. Oh, I see. Why? Because I'm sad. Are you staying or are you going away again? All right. Back to the I'm show. definitely staying. I'm definitely Good. staying. That makes me happy. I like it when no you're here. Talks to me like that. By the way, you have a visitor, <clears throat> Zoe. Excuse me. A uh, visitor? Yes. She asked me questions. What kind of questions? The difficult kind. The kind I can't answer. About you and about your father. Open this fucking beer. Where is she beer. now? She's out there. She wanted to see the view. I told her she should wait for you, but she didn't listen to me. Hello, Zoe. What? Oh, yeah. Ron's stock is refilled with rejuvenating juice. What are juice. you doing here? Thank you very much. How did for you get watching. in? Let's I need to talk to you. You've been on a very long journey. I'm glad you finally made it back. How did... You... I've traveled around the world, but it all comes back to you. Faith, she was your experiment. No Jeeva's experiment. She is. I mean, she was. But we weren't the ones who made her into what she is today. Bitch. That was Watikorp. That was Pete's. I wanted Faith to live out her life in peace with a foster family. She didn't have long. And she'd been through enough already. But Watikorp had other plans. They needed a suitable human subject for testing their drug Morpheus with Dreamnet. So they took Faith away. I know. They put her through hell. I never wanted that. You don't get to make excuses. She was your creation. She was your responsibility. Fair enough. Looking back, make I realize like a... it was a mistake to let them take her. But Wadikorp owns us. We don't get to have a say. You're not telling me anything I don't know. Why are you here? Did you bring the eye with you? The twins? Go ahead, do your worst. I'm too tired to care anymore. I'm here to ask for your help. My... help? What do you mean? I want to stop Watikorp from releasing the Dreamer. And I want to stop the static from spreading any further. You may consider me cruel and uncaring, but I'm simply pragmatic. There's nothing to be gained from Wadi succeeding with their plans, or the static causing another collapse. And I also have personal reasons for wanting to stop Pete's. He has already caused much pain, and he will cause untold damage if his plans are carried out. <sighs> what makes bullshit. you think I'll help you with anything? I'm not expecting you to help me, but you will help Faith. You won't let her suffer anymore. And you will stop Watikorp. Even if they hadn't killed your friend... How do you know all this? I planted a bug on you when we first met, Zoe. It's been sending me data at regular intervals. I've heard everything you've said. I know everything that's happened. I've helped you along the way, and now you will help me, because that's the only way you can help Faith. The only way you can avenge Reza and stop Watikorp. It's as simple as that. How can I help Faith? She's already dead, isn't she? Yes, and no. I can't explain it, but you've seen it for yourself, Zoe. She's in the networks, in Dreamnet, on the wire. Whether it's her, her memories, her soul, I don't know. It's not for me to theorize. The fact is that a part of her is inside the networks, inside Dreamcore. And she's suffering. But you can help her, Zoe. If I do this, I won't stop with Watty or with Pete's. You need to be held accountable, too. I'm a marked woman. The moment the eye finds me, I'm dead. Watty doesn't want me walking around, telling people what I know. If that's not accountability, I don't know what is. And right now, all I want is revenge for what they've done to me and my company. If it means losing everything, so be it. So what is it you want me to do? You need to go into Dreamnet and convince Faith to let go. Once that happens, the network will shut down, and Angana, Dreamcore, will disconnect from the wire. Convince Faith to... How do I do that? And why me? Because you have a connection with her. 
I don't know what it is. You seem to share some of her more esoteric genetic qualities. And she's taken a shine to you. Besides, no one else has been able to find out where in the network Faith or her residue, her memories, reside. I've tried, but it's like she's not actually in there. You, on the other hand, have met her. Several times. She's reaching out to you. She needs you. And to help her, you must first help me. How? I've brought a dreamer. You go inside. Talk to Faith. Find a way to make her let go. Whatever she's become, a, a virus, a ghost in the machine, only she can stop this. If she keeps holding on, if her influence keeps spreading across the wire, it will eventually shut down completely. We're talking days. Maybe less than that. If she can do that, what is she? I don't know. Like I said, a ghost in the machine. Her body is gone, but her mind. They pumped her full of Morpheus. They murdered her with an overdose. Who knows? Maybe there is something as banal as an immortal soul. And that's what's left of her. She died while she was inside Dreamnet, dreaming a very, very powerful dream. Maybe she's still in that dream, and that's what's spreading across the wire. Whatever the answer, it doesn't matter. God the fact damn! Is that faith is in the now, inside Dreamnet, inside Angana. And she needs to leave. You're saying she needs to die? She's already dead, Zoe. That's a fact. Whatever's left of her isn't happy in there. She needs to shut down. Move on, whatever you want to call it. And you expect me to ask her to let go? Sure. To die? Yes, because it's the right thing to do. Listen to me. We're running out of time. I need you to make a choice. Either you do this or I leave and you never see me again. Ooh, I'm if that happens, the wire will break down causing untold damage. Wattie Corp may still succeed in releasing the Dreamer, and Pete's plans could still come to fruition. Who is the greater evil here? Him or me? All right. I think you're Pretty despicable. Weak ending so far. You used an innocent person as a test subject. You made her, and then you discarded her. And for what? To research dreams? Still, I won't let the bad guys win. I've come this far, and I'm going all the way. Someone told me not long ago that I lack commitment. Well, connect me to the dreamer. I'm going to give you a highly concentrated dose of Morpheus, more than what you've received before. It won't harm you, but it will allow you to control your environment. That way, Faith won't be able to push you out again. What do I tell her? How do I make her let go? I don't know. You have to figure that out on your own. This is unknown territory. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good luck. That bitch just put me in a coma. Forever. And good night, Zoe. Right, chapter thirteen. Sorry. It feels different. Coming up time. soon. Faith wants me to come inside. This is it, folks. The end of our journey until the new Kickstarter production comes out.
God, I love little Hello? boy shorts. Just want to stick my Hi. finger in that pendant. You must be Faith. I'm Zoe. I know. What are you doing? Playing. I see. What are you playing? A game. Really? Can I play too? Maybe. Okay. You've been helping me, haven't you, Faith? The white lady told me to. Oh. What did the white lady say? She said to talk to you. Did she tell you that I had to save April Ryan? Yes. What does the white lady look like? She's all white. When did you last see her? She was here, just before you. She was? Yes. What did she say? She said it's all fine. She said you did good. She said you saved April. That's what she said? That I saved April? Yes. You know I've been looking for you, don't you? Yes. Why me? Why did you talk to me, Faith? Because you're like me. Like you... how? You dream like me. You mean... dream things true? Yes. You're my sister. I'm... what? Your sister? Yes. You're my big sister. You mean because of the way we dream? No, because we're sisters. For real. Faith, this is very important. What makes you think we're sisters? I just know. And the white lady says so too. We have the same mother. We do. Faith, I'm sorry, but that's not possible. My mother died long before you were born. Mm-mm. No. Our mother isn't dead. And we are sisters. That's... That's impossible. It's true. I know. I'm not lying. I believe you, Faith, okay? I do believe you. It's just... I thought my mother was dead. Do you remember your mother? No, I don't know. And I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about something else. Faith, why are you here? Because I don't have anywhere else to go. You can't stay here. You're hurting the world. I know. That's what the white lady said. But I don't know where to go. And... and... and I'm scared, Zoe. I know. I would be too. But sometimes we have to let go. Sometimes we just have to trust that things will be okay. Sometimes we just have to have... Faith, you're not supposed to be here anymore. You're supposed to be... to be gone. I'm supposed to be dead. No, you're not supp... Yes. Yes, Faith. You're supposed to be dead. I know, but I don't want to go. I'll be alone. Maybe. Maybe not. I can't promise you anything. But I believe there's something better waiting for you. I have faith. And I can promise you that I'll stay here as long as you need me to. You'll stay with me? I will. You won't have to be alone anymore. Okay. Well, I think that about wraps it up, folks. That's the end of Dreamfall, Game Horror Production. I'm going to show a quick Kickstarter Game Horror Production of the Dreamfall chapters, which will be the sequel, the final chapter in the trilogy here. There's a lot of open-endedness left, a lot of ambiguity left in this game. I'll leave you with your thoughts and with the credits in just a moment. I would like to thank you for watching another Game Horror production. And I plan on bringing you plenty more adventure games and RPGs and strategies.
I'm getting All sleepy, kinds of fucking awesome shit. It's okay, sweetie. You can go to sleep. I'm getting cold, too. Come here. Better? Yes. Will you stay with me? As long as you need me to, Faith. Even when I'm sleeping? Even when you're sleeping. I promise. Okay. Good night, Zoe. Good night, big sister. Good night, little sister. Goodbye, Faith. You? Oh, you must help me. There's only darkness. They stole my eyes, my ears. They took the world away from me. There's nothing left. Nothing. Do you hear me? Are you there? I need my senses back. Answer me. Answer me! Pets? Papa can't hear you. And he can't talk to you. Oh, pets. Pets. What are you? <laughs> and Zoe's still in the dreamer. Some I'm sorry about this, though. Zoe, but I can't let you wake up again. Goodbye. You really are a very beautiful girl. So like your father. I never thought I'd see you again. And I wish it didn't have to end like this. Is she asleep? She is. I'll stay here and watch over her. You should. Maybe when she wakes up, she'll want to play a game with me. Maybe. I would like that very much. My little purple Attila. Send Faith on her way. The static is gone. Things are back to normal. All should be well with the world. Except it's not. At all. The bad guys got away with it. The dreamer could still be released. 
If that happens... I'm not sure how long I've been here, or how long I'm going to stay. But there's nothing more I can do now. My story's been told. The future is out of my hands. And in yours. You need to do something. You need to tell my story until the word is out. Until everyone knows what's going on. If you don't... I'm leaving soon, but I'm not afraid. If death is the end, I know that our dreams remain behind. So whoever you are, whatever you plan to do, good luck. I'm sure you'll need it. I hope my story has been heard. It has been heard. I feel really stupid if I find out I've been talking to myself this whole... Reza? Huh? Reza! Thank God. Fucking pussy. How is she? She's fading away. Careful, Dad. That is not him. Goodbye. Please go on. You're special. I like the so panties. I am. You are. You are you so special, Zoe. Are a dream. And your little white, white. Someone meals. else told me that. God damn. Is that good? It is. Saying you've been shaving the bikini it's line because that little muffle rough There's nothing tough. good or bad about it. Like the stars above and the stones below. You got some stones below. Is. Oh. So where are we again? In the story time. This is where the stories are told. The stories that create the sky and the ground and all that is in between. You see, Zoe, this universe and everything in it is like an endlessly thick book containing countless stories. That's amazing. Can you tell me one of those stories? I could. But not now. There's no time. We need to act before it's too late. You're here to tell me a story, Zoe. I am. You are. I see. What's happening? Why do we have to act? Because the undreaming oh, is Oh shit, the undreaming. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. So where do I begin? At the beginning, Zoe. At the beginning? It's going to be a long story. That's fine. Okay. My name is Zoe Castillo, and I think I might be dead, but I'm not sure. My father's name is Gabriel. Yeah, he's a punk bitch. Well, folks, that's it for Dreamfall. You're gonna have to stay tuned for the sequel. The Kickstarter just got uh, funded several weeks ago. I'm gonna leave a little introduction for that as well. And finally, today's the day everyone's been waiting for. Isn't that right, Ryan? <laughs> That's right, Diane. It's been a closely guarded secret for months, but today, Watticore finally unveils its hotly anticipated new product, Dreamtime. Fans have been lining up in front of stores for weeks in preparation for what some are calling the single greatest event in recorded history. Wow. 
If you didn't have to be here this morning, Ryan, I'm sure you'd be out there lining up with the rest of them. <laughs> you betcha, Diane. Wati Kor has yet to reveal what Dreamtime is all about, except that it's destined to change the face of entertainment forever. Wire rumors have it that Dreamtime will allow people to dream lucid dreams about anything they want. Isn't that something, Ryan? Modern technology. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. You just gotta love it, Diane. <laughs> Thank you folks for watching another Game Order production. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more wonderful Game Order productions.
fuck, fuck, shit, fucking dickhead, pussy, shithead, sticking that my ass, oh, nigga, motherfucker. <laughs> Just took a shit. <laughs>
Thanks for watching.